thank you for attending The Tempest. Your show will begin momentarily. In the meantime, please feel free to kick back and relax in our lobby.
Our memorabilia museum, presided over by the MC, our executive producer, a real mover and shaker. He'll shake hands with anyone in the crowd.
Is that what you're trying to tell me? You want to sit down? <laughs> Hi. Oh, for me. Oh, you are you see me sweep and you're like, take a load off, random lady we've never met before. You deserve. Okay. Okay. I like you. Thank you. I'm just going to like. Well, this is weird. It's just me sitting. It's, nobody else is sitting. Are you guys going to sit? Is it just me? It's just me. Oh, thank you, Wiggle with the little crisscross applesauce. Here we are, a little group together. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, oh, whoa. okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> They're like, you've sat long enough. Well, no, actually, if we're going to make our little circle of friendship strangers, then please join me by my beautiful flame. I have been burning things today. I don't know about you, but I need to process my feelings about the pandemic with fire! So I like to burn stuff. Yes, crates and chairs. Um, you know, uh... Where did you all come from? The woods? Did you... did you... Way out there? From the sky? You can't... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, does this one give off alien vibes to you? Wait. Hmm... Yes, yes, you're right. Your mask has this strange circular engraving. It does look a little bit like a UFO! <laughs> no, 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 okay, no, 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 no. No, we make friends with aliens, okay? We make friends, we don't broom them to death. We say this is a broom, this is a gift from our people, I guess. Please enjoy, alien. Oh, I obviously have been alone for a very long time because I'm weird, thank you very much. I... I just miss telling stories. I miss, I miss hanging out with my friends. I miss shaking people's hands and smelling people's breath and I don't know, you know. People, do you all like to tell stories in your own way? You know, whether you're, you, know, you maybe you're typing out a story out on a forum or, or sharing a story with your mom on the phone or, or, or maybe you're, you're writing a play yourself or, or I don't know, whatever you're creating, maybe you're a comic book artist or maybe you tell stories through when you make pipes or, or, or ceramics or maybe you're a really good coder and you tell score story through code. You all have secret talents and I can feel that in you. <laughs> but today... Maybe you want to tell a story with me? Use those talents and we can use them as an ensemble together? How does that sound? Snaps in the air if that sounds like a great idea and you are affirming me. Thank you so much. I need a affirmation. Thank you. Okay, so now you are all actors. Ooh, actors. I want you to feel self-important and famous. Everyone give me your famous pose. Oh, the cameras are flashing in front of you. Oh, the a oh, oh, the alien is using the broom. This one is mounting like Adonis. Look at how well my trainer has worked me out. I've paid money for these guns. This person is like, I deserve more money. Actors are regularly used without pay, and I am advocating. I'm starting an actors union. Snap, snap. So powerful. Good job, you. Yes, so many famous actors. Anyway, okay, I'm craving some weather. So I'm thinking, what if we did a story about a storm, but not just any storm, a storm with magic, magic that I see in your masks. Yes, you all have strange masks upon your faces, but I think there's potential there. All right, so I'm going to imbibe the character of Prospero. She's the antagonist or the protagonist. No matter what, she's a sorceress. And you all, you are my magic spirits. Without you, I am nothing. And Prospero, yes, needs you to conjure a storm because she lives on an island. And right now, a little boat, a little boat is floating by. And we need to capsize it with our magic. How fun is that? How fun is that? Very safely, yes. Okay, why don't we start with a rehearsal? And that's a great warm up. This one is warming up with like a crate on their head. I don't know how you get in the head space, but I need my head full of holes. That's how I respond and act better. Yes, absolutely. A rehearsal. So that's, oh, oh, here's my idea. What if the, the balcony of my house is the stage? Oh, no, no, not better than the boat, the ship deck. Yes, perfect. The ship deck of the little boat. And, um, oh, we need, we need sailors, right? Who wants to get warmed up and, and, and view and physicalize a sailor? 
Yes, you, right here in front. Okay, I'm gonna send you. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna teleport you. This is gonna feel a little weird, so I want you to hold on to your lunch, okay? Got it? Ready, set, skadoosh. Yes, look down upon us. Sailor number one first mate Jeremy has arrived at the boat. Ah, uh, and he has a cute hat on his head. How convenient. You all have magic, but that's one thing I can teleport and assign cute hats. How great is that? <laughs> if I could be a super human, I would want to assign random hats to people at all times and just confuse and delight humans. About. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, Jeremy, Jeremy's alone. Jeremy cannot man the wheel. We need a captain, a leader, someone to lead us through the storm. Who feels brave? Who doesn't feel brave? Maybe you're just willing to muck up the job. Yes, you here, my friend, captain, my captain. It is time. Are you ready to join your first mate? Cause up you go! Yes! Grab your wheel, Captain. Jeremy is there to serve you. Now, oh, we need what? Jeremy, hand the wheel to your captain. Jeremy, it's not time for a mutiny. Thank you, Jeremy. All right, Captain, start turning that wheel. Jeremy is ready. Start coiling rope. We need, wait, we need one more sailor. One more sailor. Oh, you? Would you be our second mate, Tyrone? You make the best crab cakes on the boat. Yes, you do. Up you go! Okay, fantastic. We have our small crew. Now, the rest of you, this is equally important, okay? Every job in theater is just as necessary as the actors on stage. So, you are our lighting designers! Pew, 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 pew. I happen to have flashlights. Uh, people just give me flashlights for Christmas, for birthdays. I don't know. They look at me and they say, like, you look like you need some light in your life. So please take one of my flashlights and you can use your trigger finger to turn them on and off. Can you see this friend right in front of you? Here, take this. Do you want to grab it? Okay, you don't. Well, it's here right there if you'd like to. You can grab things using your middle finger on your controller. Press down and it'll do a grab motion. Yes, you got it. You picked up the flashlight. Now trigger finger. Turn it on. Use your trigger, your pointer. We're so close. Okay. Yes, wonderful. Our lightning has arrived. Okay. First mate, Jeremy. Okay, Captain, take your wheel. Are you ready? Set the storm. <laughs> Sway back and forth. Oh, you guys are swaying back. The storm is so big can you keep your balance oh no no tyrone's crab cakes oh they're coming back oh you're barfing up up over the ship oh you've never seen oh it's so chunky you've never seen barf like this before you've never seen a sea like this before captain take your wheel oh cheer hey my hearts cheerily cheerily my hearts yar yar take in the top sail Tend to the master's whistle, blow to the burst I win. Jeremy Tyrone, you silly ninnies, stop making hand motions. I want you to throw everything overboard. We need to lighten the ship. Anything you can get your mitts on, throw it overboard. Even my wife's dress, yes, throw it overboard. She doesn't need it anymore. We're all going to wear palm fronds because how can we survive this storm? We might as well invent. Oh, God, Jeremy. No, yes. Oh, thank you for pailing water overboard. You're so smart. You're so forth. This is not going well. My mates, come to me. This, this eerie, eerie lightning just doesn't ever stop being bright. And it's in my eyes. So I think that it's the white light telling us it's time. It is time for us to give up. This storm is the thing we can have. Come to me. We must hold each other. Quick, quick, quick. Hold each other. You guys were my best friends. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I was your captain and I couldn't really ever tell you that, but I love you guys. And let's die together in this pact. Jump into the light! <laughs> well done. That was so silly and Oscar worthy. Fantastic work, you. You're already working as an ensemble. You're good. No, you're good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Beautiful work. Oh, everyone. Oh, the captain is practically covered in seaweed. Let's pick the seaweed off the captain. Oh, my goodness. Did you eat some salt water? Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but have you ever been in the ocean, got a face full of wave and eat some salt water? You never forget that sting in your nose, do you? That's what we use for acting. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're all so good. But I wonder, what if we could actually conjure... Tempest, I have a bit of magic, and so do you, and we can use 
your masks. That's right. Do you actually want to summon a storm with me and give Ellie a beautiful drink that it much deserves? Good. Good! Then join me. Join me around the fire. As a circle, pretend we're a witch's coven. I am your Prospero and you are my magic. We must connect to one another, feel each other's spirits sway back and forth. Good. Yes, everyone hold hands. This is so much fun. I'm holding hands with you guys. We are witches. We are so cool. We are so intimidating. I'm going to say some magic words. Imagine you are 50 stories tall and looking down at a tumultuous, frothing sea. And we say, put the wild waters in this roar. The sky, it seems, would pour down stinking pitch. The sea mounting to the welkin's cheek. Put the wild waters in this roar, roar, roar. roar. Pick, 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 pick. From the fire I reach inside, oh, it's hot. Take this magical piece of driftwood quick. It's hot. Take it. Pass it to your witchy neighbor. Take it. We must conjure the storm with it. There you are. Everyone, stick for you. Sticks for you. And everyone has a stick. Here you go. Remember how to pick things up? You use your middle finger on the back of your controller. There you go. Good. Now, time for the magic. Take your masks off and hold them out in front of you like a dinner plate. Perfect. Place your piece of driftwood on top of your mask like a cob of corn. Good. Magical cob. Now snap once to ignite your magic with your free hand. Wonderful. Good. Now counterclockwise around the rim of your mask. Imagine you are the ship. Good. Well, there, you have performed the point, the tempest that I bade thee. The stage is set, but... <laughs> no! There's more work, my friends. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemy brought to the shore. Go, spirits, make thyself like nymphs of the sea, subject to no sight but mine and thine, invisible to all idle else. Ariel will help you. Are you ready, my spirits? Come! I boarded the king's ship. Now on the beak, now on the waist, the deck. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfur is roaring. The most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves tremble, yea. His dread tried and shake. Not a soul but felt a fever of the mad and played some tricks of desperation. All but mariners plunged in the foaming brine and quit the vessel. Then all afire with us, the king's son, Ferdinand, with hair of staring, then like reeds, not hair, was the first man that leapt, cried, Hell is empty! And all the devils are was, wait for it, legend, dairy. Oh, I did that out of order. I'm so sorry, Neil Patrick Harris. Okay. Look, as the sun rises, the tempest near haunted settles, and 
the waste of filth, the men who are now crawling aboard the sands of my island have no idea what's in store for them. <laughs> Welcome. This is my home, where I have been exiled for 12 long years. I don't know how many of you have been... I, I think you all know what exiled feels like after the pandemic. You know what being cooped up was. You go a little crazy. You think some weird things some days, and you kind of have to question your sanity. Ah, but does that stop me? There's nobody to... <laughs> There's nobody to stop me. Why? Because, my friends, I used to be a duchess. Yes! A duchess of the great kingdom of Milan. And with finding magic, I wanted to cure plague, famine, and so I threw myself into my books and said, Brother, Brother Antonio, please, yes. Oh, watch out. That's, there's some love potion in there and also some ramen juice. You will have to eat out of urns sometimes. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find dishes. Yeah, go ahead and have some. Does anyone here have siblings who just think everything is theirs and they, they, yeah. Oh, you feel that really hard in your heart, huh? Yep, yep, I get it too. Uh, <laughs> what about you there with the, fa okay, all right. Look at this guy with the fancy hat. Yes, and whoever is an only child, I also feel for you all have your own traumas and we all feel empathy for that. So, I asked my brother, please, could you, could you lead, could you lead the kingdom from me? And he said, yes, of course, Prospero, I'd love to. And then he didn't give it back. No, no, yes, thank you for, for your gasp. I heard it audibly. It was so satisfying. He took it from me. He took it not only from me, but my daughter. Oh, no, I'm not here alone. My daughter. Have you seen about a 15-year-old girl? Miranda. Oh, my gosh. Miranda, mommy has updates. <laughs> we should wreck someone. Miranda, okay, if someone can find a little black shoe, we could probably locate her. Uh, she runs around the island there. find a little black shoe? Ah! Miranda! Daughter! <laughs> there she is, everyone! Come look! Oh my gosh, here, sweetheart, put this on your foot right now. Oh, see. Oh, they're getting too small. That was the only pair we had, sweet daughter. Hello, everyone! Everyone, this is Miranda. Isn't she beautiful? Miranda, yes! Oh. Yes, isn't she just beautiful? This she's so smart. She's she's already surpassed me in trigonometry. She is so smart. Yes, she is, daughter. Um, now we are all going to support you because mommy has some updates. Okay, so deep breath first. Everyone, let's deep breath together. <sighs> oh, yes, so cleansing. Um, you know how you've lived alone on this island just with me since you were three years old, and you thought that this was the only form of life and you've never wanted anything more, and you've just been a happy child. Well, that's all a lie. Um, I know. You see, give me your hand, sweetheart. You used to be royalty. You had a kingdom to inherit, Miranda. But your bruncle, your bruncle, <laughs> my brother, your uncle, he took it from us. But right now, he, his name is Antonio, is crawling up on the sands of the island because we have shipwrecked him! He was out for a joyride! He didn't know he was going to be floating past the island. He banished his sister, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this a lot for you? This is, this is probably a lot to process. Yes, yes. I never wanted you to want anything more, but darling, today you may see a man for the very first time, and I want to prepare you for that. All right, we've talked about the birds and the bees, and um, yes, they're all we're talking about the birds and the bees. They're all they're all updated. They're all ready to go and support you. But you're a strong, independent woman. You do what you want. But do you remember, Miranda? Do you remember escaping 12 years ago? Let's help her, everyone. We must help her remember. Maybe we, if we give her a bite of food, we can jog her memory.
Yes, Stan? Oh, oh, keep your shoe. Keep your shoe on, dear daughter. Good. Thank you. Thank you. So considerate. Oh, yes. Here, here. Have a bite of leaf. Maybe some, maybe some ivy. Ivy will jog your memory. Give it a chomp. Uh, no, no. Okay, not doing it for you. Uh, uh, how about an onion, maybe? Maybe? Uh, um, um. No! Okay! Oh, oh. Wait! That bottle! That bottle! Go grab that bottle, please! Yes! Oh, okay. Oh, no, she's underage, sweetheart. Can I drink this, actually? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> ah, I love revenge and beer! Okay. Everyone, we must support Miranda to remember this memory. Let us put our hands on her. We are an ensemble. We are together. Let's comfort her. Remember, Miranda. Remember who you are. Oh my gosh. It's working. <laughs> Wait. We need to strengthen the memory, Miranda. Someone grab my magic sorcerer's sticky stick and stir the memory pool. Everyone else, throw it. Throw something in the pool. We need to make this memory strong and full of meaning. Your memories, your items. Help Miranda. Miranda, pour the jug in as well. Pour it in the pool. Stir, my friend, stir like this is a stew that's never been stewed, sir, before. Good. <laughs> You've done it! Come over here, my friend. It's a better, it's a better view. There you are, daughter. Look at you. Oh, you can sleep that well to this day. Do you remember that? It was the dead of midnight, and a treacherous army levied, and my brother opened the gates of Milan, and we ran, daughter, we ran! And our people provided our escape aboard a rotten carcass of a boat. Yeah, that would have been helpful in or two, thank you very much. Not rig, nor sail, tackle, nor mast! The very rats instinctively had quit it. There they hoist us, to cry to the sea that roared to us. Sigh to the winds and sign back again. Did us but loving wrong. But that all ends today, Miranda. Because maybe we could get off this island and you can have your life back. But I'm gonna need everyone's help, alright? Come, hold my hands. It's time to continue our story. I see you, my friend. I see you. Come on. Come on over here. Give me your hands. Come on. Set. Yes, thank you for including everyone. We're all friends here. <laughs> you are my actors, and you deserve snacks. So please, please, that was a lot of exposition. Please enjoy your marshmallow. Here you go, friend. I don't have any graham crackers or, you know, chocolate, but, you know, a nice gooey marshmallow. Just, it, it's just warm and satisfying in your tummy. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to get in your way. Oh, you are such delicate toasters, like a rotisserie chicken lightly browned. No one sets it on fire. That's nice. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I don't know about you, but, like, I maybe eat a marshmallow once every two years. And I eat one, I'm like, yeah, they're not that great. <laughs> I like them fine, though. They're a fun treat. Okay, everyone had some sugar? Good. Yes, yummy sugar. Oh, my gosh, it's raining. Can I see this? That's weird. It doesn't... Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, everyone, time to get back to the story. We just went through a lot of exposition. We shipwrecked Prospero's brother, who was aboard the ship, took her kingdom from her, so now he's waking up. But it wasn't just him. He had a clan of evil dukes aboard with him, and we must torment him. But there was a lowly boy, a prince about Miranda's age, who also happened to be on this boat. Ooh, a twist. Maybe a meat cute, my friends? I think that's what we're in store for. It's time to advance. Welcome. This is most of my island. Um, much of it is fate and luck when you happen to float ashore an island that used to be inhabited by a witch named Figurax who liked to torment spirits by entrapping them in trees. That's why the trees are so sad and they keep molting because they've been through a lot. I cannot keep up with the yard on this island. I'm gonna give you all, I don't know, 30 seconds if you wanna zip around and have a look, but I will meet you over there by the stone silo, okay? Take a look around the island.
out of frizz or anything when I teleported. It still looks good. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Hey, everybody. Are you ready for this next scene? Good. Good. Okay. When you were gesturing to me for... It's okay. You're not looking at me anymore. Hey, hey, hey. You were gesturing? Would you... Do you want to actually play Prospero for this scene? I think that would be cool. I think that would be very cool. Okay, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need the magic source for a sticky stick. Here you are. <laughs> so, yes, take on my character. Take on the violence, the vengeance, and the victimhood. Excellent. Now, we're going to need our dear darling Miranda again. Would you like to continue to play the role or would you like to give it to someone else? It's up to you. You would like to continue to play the role? All right, then what do you need? Dun, 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 dun. A beautiful rose crown. Oh, and look, they are now modeling your crown. Look how amazing you look. This is in the smell, Miranda, everyone. Smell how amazing Miranda smells. She looks immaculate. Thank you for being my mannequin. You also look very good. She likes to make wreath garlands when she's processing feelings about the past. <laughs> good. Now, Miranda, obviously this has been a lot. Um, you've a whole new life now could be potentially available to you, but there's so much of this is you've only read about in books, so it's a lot to process. So you're probably out walking the island and um, collecting your thoughts. So why don't you go collect those thoughts behind that tree, and I'll give you the cue when it's time to come out, okay? Go think very serious thoughts. So serious. Oh, I see them thinking so serious. Good. All right. Now we need the prince! I just told you, the dear prince about Miranda's age, who had nothing to do with this, but is caught up in it anyway. Anyone willing to play our smolderings? Nobody? Nobody. You! Yes! All right! Thank you, Prince Ferdinand. Well, not me. You know, after me. I'm just very impressed with you, too. Um, here, sir. You've been separated from everyone else in your ship, all right? You're all alone. You're all alone. And you're a prince. And your father helped Prospero's brother take my kingdom. So you're kind of involved in this, but not really. But you saw your father go under the water. And he didn't come back up, so No. That means you... You might be the king now. Oh my gosh, that's a big day. You were just... You were just like going to a wedding and... All right, you should, you should make some shelter, okay? So this is conveniently placed tent pole. Uh, pick up some sticks, make yourself some shelter, and, and yeah, we'll figure this out, all right? The rest of you, come over here. Good thinking, Miranda. Oh, such deep thoughts. Oh, she's thinking about quantum entanglement. That's what she's thinking about. Wow. All right, everyone. Now, this is, this is Prospero here, yes, yes? She is just as beautiful as I am. Yes, you sorcerer's queen. Now, I want you to hide. I want you to do a sneak sneak throughout all this scene, okay? Because you really, yeah, let's see those rocks, those trees. I want you to, well, not yet, not yet. But you can just do little peeky peeks because we're very invested, you know, us mothers in this working out, you know? Because we want to get off this island and if they fall in love, doy, great. All right, so start your sneaky sneak. All right, you three. This is going to be ridiculous, but I want you to channel each other and you are triplets. You are triplets because you have a love spell in your mask. Take your mask off and hold it out in front of you. Yes! Yes! Just like, snap once with your other finger. Yes! Beautiful! Oh! They've made a love onion. Okay, so that's what I want you to do. When these two, Ferdinand and Moran, see each other, I want you to swarm them. Swirl around them, swivel your magical blue stone in their face, make them fall madly in love together. Can you do that for me? Okay, that is a nice touch. That see this one is already like matchmaker, matchmaker. I'm gonna make you a golden rose of love. Amazing! Okay, does that all sound good? Alright, spirits, you know what to do! I'm gonna disappear, but I will give you your lines. Here we go. Oh, what a strange day, says Miranda, as she thinks about quantum entanglement behind the tree. I should stop thinking about quantum entanglement and start thinking about... Wait. What's that? Quickly, Miranda turns, peeks behind the tree, and sees the most beautiful man she's ever seen. Oh my god, spirits, love spirits, it's time to go! Swirl around! Give her the love. Oh, she runs up to him! Oh, she is excited! Ferdinand caught aback, 
sees the most beautiful maiden he's ever laid eyes on, he faints instantly as their hands touch. Oh, he is so, she faints as well. Oh, the magic love rose gold is powerful magic. And he says, most sure, the goddess on whom these heirs attend. Oh, you wonder you, if you be made or no. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no wonder, sir, but certainly a maid. I don't know why, but when I smell this rose, I have this, the faint smell of almonds. Like, it smells like cyanide, but I also think I smell love. I think I... Yes, yes, I, I feel that too. I, I, I love you. You, you love me? Y y yes, I hold, we hold this rose together as... As we are connected but oh my gosh i haven't introduced myself i'm so sorry i profess my love i bow to you because my name is ferdinand prince ferdinand but i actually now might be a king you say i was shipwrecked and my father he didn't come up <laughs> this is how i cry <laughs> this is a bit it's been a really hard day <laughs> oh oh you poor thing they are falling madly in love so prospero summons prospero come Summon your magic love spirits to you. That's your, that's your cue, love spirits. Run over to Prospero with her magic sorcerer sticky stick. She has to meet with you. She's like, yes, yes, good, good. Spirits, you have done well. Yes, yes. Well, you can hear me from over there, your spirit. All right, here's the deal. They're both in Eider's powers. Well done. Beautiful work. Oh, my magic sticky stick. Don't worry, I'll make another one. Here you go. But we gotta add some drama, right? You know, we can't just, like, have people fall in love and, uh, it be easy. You wanna fight for your love, otherwise it won't stick. So, here's what we're gonna do. Everyone, you're gonna come and back me up. I'm gonna make you all swords here, ready? I'm gonna conjure your swords. Everyone, take a sword! Here you go, friend. Sword for you. Yes! You're doing- hold your finger down to keep holding it. You're doing so well. Yes! All right! Prospero, it's time. Oh, you all, you all look so cool. Oh my god. Approach the lovers! Dun 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 Prospero's got back up. And she says, You! You there! Who are you? Look at my dual-wielding staff and sword. I am so intimidated. I am the sorceress of this island. Miranda! Get away from that boy! Miranda! Oh no, my love. Oh, no, mother! I love him! I break this apart, you two! You just met! You just met! Ah, uh, my spirits! I have, we will, we will stick you with swords. Look at all the swords we have. This is, this is how we, how we welcome people on this island. Who are you? Oh! My name is Prince Ferdinand! Ferdinand, you say? <laughs> Your father <laughs> helped my brother take my kingdom from me. How convenient! Mother! Stop it! Miranda runs up to Prospero! Mother! Nothing ill can dwell in such a temple, please. He's been separated from everyone and I think I love him. Aw, oh, daughter, I boop you with a stick because you're so full of love and mirth and curiosity. Oh, you make me laugh. <laughs> All right. Okay, Ferdinand, here's the deal. Everyone put your swords down. Oh, I thank you for patting me, weirdo. <laughs> here's the deal, Ferdinand, you have to do some yard work for me. Yes, if you want to prove your love to my daughter, I want you to collect as many sticks as you see and throw them, like LeBron James at a Lakers game, into the stone silo behind you. Do you see it behind you? Yes, anyone and everyone can help Ferdinand win Miranda and win over Prospero. Ready, set, collect the sticks! Collect the sticks of me, collect the sticks of me, because we are making stick piles because <laughs> Carry the wood to prove your love. Carry the wood. Oh, that was a good shot, Miranda. That was very good. <laughs> that was some bark. Good. Okay, you have five more seconds. Five more seconds. Oh, you're working as a team. Will it be enough? Miranda's sure intent on it being enough. She's helping. Oh, wow. That was a mean throw. Okay. <gasps> Miranda, that's it. Look. Go, Prospero. Prospero. Hold your daughter. Hold her. Dear daughter, look at this pile of sticks, daughter. Yes, look at it. Look. Do you think this is enough sticks for your love? 
What do you say, Miranda? Yes, yes. I think, I think he's like a bird, and he creates a nest because he's envisioning our future home, and I love it! Oh, Ferdinand, I whip around because you're right behind me. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, do you want to get married? Whoa, a lady! I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've drunk a lot of seawater today, and I, I've lost family, so I'm ready to make some pretty important decisions, I think. Really? Please take this golden rose and accept my proposal. Aw, oh, heck yeah, I love it when the ladies propose. Oh, it smells great. We're engaged! Oh, this is wonderful, everyone! Celebratory onions, onions, throw some onions! Congratulations to the happy couple! Yes! <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. Well done, well done. Everyone, take your characters off, you know, mentally, and put them in your pocket, okay? Because we're gonna transition. Oh, look at you all put, I see. Hopefully, yeah, I think your capes have pockets. I think your capes would have some pockets, right? Yes. Oh, fantastic, yes! Ooh, I wonder if the dukes on the other side of the island heard that firework. Do they know that joy is happening? Or do they just think that they're going to die? That's the point. Thank you, everyone, for your roles. And this one who is thinking about jumping over the ledge, don't do it. There is love for you as well. I know you just saw them find it, but stay with life, my friend. Yes, choose life. Choose the ensemble. We can't go on without you. Thank goodness. All right, everyone, turn and look at me. I want you to channel your inner villains now, okay? I want you to imagine. Oh, you're so evil. Oh my gosh, you have this long beard and you can't stop stroking it and thinking maniacal thoughts and monologuing your plans to take over uh, the Tri-City area, right? Exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, but you don't look intimidated enough. What do you need? Oh, what could it be? Yeah, hat. You know, we've been doing hats. What if we can mix it up a little bit? What if we do... Oh. <laughs> this! Ruffles! Everybody gets evil, intimidating ruffles. I don't know about you, but when I see someone come in with a big neck ruff and they can't even fit through the doorway, I respect that person. They don't need to get into houses. They have a ruffle on! You all feel evil? Snaps if you feel like you could go steal candy from a baby! You know, the... Yes, yes! So evil. Good! Now you are the dukes, but you are on the other side of the island. Oh, and you're hungry. You've lost Ferdinand. You think he's dead. But Antonio, Prospero's brother, does not know yet that his sister is at the hands of his torment. Let's go find out, shall we? Well, 
of seasons. You know, I'm trying to get into culinary school and I want to know what you guys thought. Brocco just uses magic and stuff. I'm, I'm passionate about cooking, you know. I want to meet Chef Gordon Ramsay in some time. Yeah. It's more salt. on your face. Wait, what, what, what is this? Meat sauce? That food was supposed to be hallucinogenic. Ariel! All right, you're right. You all, you all are very sorry, right? You're very sorry for what you've done? Maybe just a little bit. This one doesn't learn a lesson. I like you. <laughs> Congratulations! You withstood the terror of my harpy. And now I realize that I need some serious therapy with my family, right? But we have something to celebrate today. Yes, we do. A marriage! So you remember that spell I taught you back in the beginning? I want you to make a garden party. You can make these trees come back to life. If you approach one, you'll see that there is a stick on the ground. Using the spell, pick up a stick next to a tree, take your mask off, place the stick on top, Snap to ignite your magic, and then turn counterclockwise around the disc of your mask. Turn back time! Good! Yes! Oh, it's beautiful already! <laughs> now don't be discouraged if you're having trouble. Tall naiads of the winding brooks with sagged crowns. Yes, the white light of marriage has worked. My magical spirits, you have made these final moments in that. You're like, I don't want to wear this neck ruffle anymore. Can you hear me? Okay, good, good, good. Everyone, good! Let's get these guys engaged, married, whatever this custom is. Miranda, darling, could you take that character out of your pocket and stand right here? And Ferdinand, take put take your duke off, put your cute little prince on, yes! And you are love spirits and my Prospero understudy. Oh, you need your staff, yes, please take your staff. And uh, everyone else, oh, we need to dress you up, yes, what do you need? You need your, you need your hat, yes, you need your crown, yes, and everyone else needs some bedazzle. So we're gonna give you some golden wreaths gorgeous all right prospero understudy you're up let's get these kids married uh, everyone oh my gosh congrats we're at the wedding together i hope the reception food is good i hope they have pizza you know come on oh you two oh i'm so happy for you two dear daughter and miranda oh i am how so proud of the journey and now that our past Torture and torment can now become the future of love and harmony. Um, these lovely love spirits, us guys, come over here, have in developed an interpretive dance to celebrate your love, which they will do now. All right, everybody, let's do an interpretive dance together. Ready? <clears throat> Earth's increase, poison's plenty, barns and garners never empty. 
vines with clustering bunches growing, plants with goodly birth and bowing. Spring comes you at the harvest at the very end. Scare to see in one show, son, you sow, our blessing so is on you. Now make something with your mask and throw it at him, throw it at him like some rice. One snap, snap to get your magic started, friend. Yes, perfect, beautiful, mazel tov, mazel tov. <laughs> and now, will the two of you please press your masks together? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, they just made an egg. <gasps> they just gave me a grandbaby, look how sweet. Okay, we can start it with the egg and then we can go to, you know, a, a flower, maybe a dog. That's really nice. That's really beautiful, you guys, congratulations. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, I am so sorry. <laughs> Wait, quick, we can fix this. Use your, use your restoration magic. Quickly, I'm gonna make it. Okay, good, good, yes. <laughs> All better, and now you have twins! Yay! <laughs> oh, all is made right through marriage. That's not how the real life works, but that's how it works in Shakespeare. It's time to head back, my friends. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? <gasps> oh! Ah! What? <gasps> You know, you know what I think happened? You all are so powerful. The tempest you conjured, it's bleeding, it's bleeding into this dimension. Oh my, you know it's... One last hurrah, my tempest ensemble. That's conjure a storm that LA will never forget. Reach your arms up into the sky and help me gather. Our rebels now are ended. These are actors, our spirits, as I foretold you, and are melted into air, into thin air. And like the baseless fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, yes, the great globe itself, all which it inherit, shall dissolve. And like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind, because you, 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 and you are stuff that dreams are made on. And your little life is rounded in a sleep. So thank you! We did it! We did this story, my friends! And we made a wicked storm. Thank you, one and all! <laughs> Let us dance together before we must part from this illusion. Remember the Macarena? Ooh, ooh, ah. Ah, there will never be another theater show like this one. This was ours. We will keep this. You guys, thank you. Thank you for being such great team players. Thank you for being an amazing understudy, my friend. Big thanks to you and our dear Ferdinand. Oh, so brave. Oh, so handsome. He collected the sticks like a regular stick collector. Good. <laughs> and our beautiful Miranda. Thank you, sweetheart. Your love was palpable. You really, I really felt your guys' connection. That was gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, everyone who gave their love and gave their energy. This meant a lot to me. But now it's, it's time to go. Let me give you one last gift, you three. Would you mind holding out your masks for me? Okay, ready? Yes. And you three already know. These are the swirls of the tempest we created together that you can take with you. Oh, friends. <laughs> oh, shit, it's time to go. Come hold my hand one last time. Just one more. This was really fun. You guys were so much fun. Thank you. Thank you for supporting live theater and actors and each other. Time to go. Okay. Goodbye. and bows for you all. You all deserve flowers.
did amazing. My name was Caitlin. Again, thank you so much for supporting you all. If this was your first time in VR, you did great, all right? This is not easy to do, and you killed at it. There's a lot of buttons and whistles, but rest assured, you were a part of the group, and it was fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I gotta go do another show. All right.